So a very warm welcome to the second of our lunchtime learning series of lectures for our CIM marketing courses. Today's lecture is, um, is a marketing course right for me, introducing CIM. And it's being delivered by Dr. Emma Edwards, who is a senior lecturer in the University of Wolverhampton's Business School, and she is course leader for the CIM courses. My name is Paula Harrison, and I'm the coordinator at University Centre Telford, which is one of three regional learning centres of the University of Wolverhampton. As well as Emma today, I'm also joined by my colleague Trevor Humphreys, who is coordinator of our Stafford Centre, which is another regional learning centre. So just before I introduce Emma formally and hand over to her, I just wanted to explain that um, there will be an opportunity to ask questions um, both throughout the lecture and also at the end of the lecture, and that's via the, the, the Q&A button. So if you're using a laptop or a desktop, the icon is on the bottom of your screen in the middle, and if you're using a mobile, it will be in the top right-hand corner. So, as I said, we're delighted to welcome everybody today and delighted to welcome Emma. Um, Emma is a senior lecturer in the business school and, as I've said, a course leader for the SIM courses. She teaches on a range of undergraduate and postgraduate programmes and is a fellow of the Higher Education Academy. Prior to joining academia, Emma worked in PR and communications in both the public and private sector. So we welcome Emma today. Thank you very much, Emma. So before I hand back to Emma, um, just um, to explain um, our role, my, myself and Trevor um, and our centres, um, just to give you a little bit of background. Um, so as well as offering the qualifications at our city campus, um, Emma's team also offer um, the CIM qualifications at uh, Telford and at Stafford. So this slide is from the uh, University Centre in Telford um, and we're on the third floor of the Southwater building um, for those of you who know Telford. So we have a CIPD offer which is a level, level 7 postgraduate diploma in HR management and today we'll be talking about the Chartered Institute of Marketing courses both the certificate and the diploma. And we also run some teaching courses, post-compulsory education uh, for those who want to teach in the adult learning sector and a BA top up in special educational needs. And we also host courses from our partners at Telford College and Telford and Meeking Council, which is Learn Telford. We are um, a, an advice and guidance hub. So we offer bespoke IAG uh, to people who come in or ring or email us um, and that is as I say tailored IAG to suit their needs. We offer a public lecture program which has moved online um, since the um, pandemic started in March um, and that's very successful and has included um, taster lectures for the HR management and for the marketing courses. We run business support and we also um, continually assess and define local demand um, with current market, market building activity so that we constantly expand our course offer and keep it up to date uh, for local stakeholders. Um, so I'll hand you over now to Trevor for his slide. Hello. Yeah, just very quickly from me. So as Paula mentioned, we're one of the, the other regional learning centres. So we're based in Stafford Town Centre, as the picture says, um, can show right across from the main library. So again, we focus on public lectures, workshops. We have our adult leisure courses, so photography, languages, creative writing, things like that. Um, and then we also have our professional course in our undergrad and postgrad CPD offer. Um, and I say this, the CIM qualification will fit in as one of them that is one of our professional courses, um, which will be offered, hopefully, depending on what the situation is at the time, and um, whether it be based internally in the centre or online or a mixture of both. Um, but very nice and easy and simple to get to um, and great to fit around any current commitments that you've got, really. So. Um, yeah, it's great to be able to offer these courses and hopefully you'll uh, you'll join us on one in the future. Thank you. Okay, so um, 
uh, welcome everyone. Um, as I've already been introduced, I won't to spend too long on this slide. Um, I look after the CIM courses um, and I've put my email here um, for anyone who wants to ask any questions after this event. Um, I'm sure you'll think of things afterwards that you wish you would have asked. So please feel free to email me. Um, if I can just ask you to remember the C in between the E and the Edwards, because there are several Emma Edwards at the university. Um, so just to make sure that it comes through to me um, and our other contact is Pushpa. Um, she looks after all the administrative details around the course. So um, Pushpa can also help and answer questions that you have. Um, so what I'm going to do um, in this session is just talk to you about the CIM courses that we offer. Um, and the reason why we wanted to do something at this point is also because we have some new courses that we're introducing from January. Um, so I'm going to go through the detail of all of these courses um, and we'll look at some if you were interested in joining what would be required and what the commitment would be, because I think, you know, that's important so that you have a good understanding of how it will fit in. Um, and uh, I've also got a couple of videos and a bit more information from the Chartered Institute of Marketing, because obviously we work very, very closely with them to deliver um, our courses. So we have at the moment the certificate and the diploma. Um, so from January, um, we're going to be offering two new programs, a new certificate and a new diploma. Um, and the difference is that they are um, digital programs. So you would have that digital element in the title um, of your program if you decided to enroll on one of these. But as you will see, as we move through, it's actually very easy to get both qualifications. So the certificates in professional marketing and professional digital marketing because there is just um, one or two differences in terms of the modules that you would have to complete. So we'll come on to that um, in a little while. Um, so I've, I've got here the structure for both certificate programs. So hopefully you can see this and this is um, fairly self-explanatory. So there are certain modules that you have to do in order to get the overall um, certificate. So the first um, three modules you, you can see at the top are the modules that you would need to take in order to get the certificate in professional marketing. And what I have also done on these on this diagram is just indicated how that module, how each module will be assessed, because, again, I know that people often, are, particularly if you haven't been in education for a while, some people get very nervous um, about exams, um, for example. So as you can see, the only module that is assessed by an exam on the certificates on both certificate programs is the applied marketing module. Um, it is a mandatory module, so you would have to take that module. Um, it's a multiple choice uh, exam and um, we do well, we have a very high success rate on all of our modules um, and our students are just completing this one at the moment and um, always do very well on the module. The other modules, as you can see, planning campaigns and customer insights for the um, certificate in professional marketing are all assessed by assignment. Um, and that goes for the uh, planning campaigns here at the bottom on professional digital marketing. And as you will see, the only difference in order to get this digital marketing um, qualification is that you would do digital marketing techniques as your elective instead of customer insights. So the beauty with these new programs is that you can actually um, complete one of the programs and then come back, pick up the additional digital module and you would actually have um, both of those certificates. OK, so if we move on to the digital program, very, very similar in terms of structure. So again, the existing program that we have is at the top. Um, so following these three modules, marketing and digital strategy, innovation and marketing and the digital customer experience would get you the diploma in professional marketing. All of these are assessed by assignment. So there aren't any exams on the modules that we offer for the diploma. Um, and then to get that digital title, again, your um, 
option here at the bottom is the digital, sorry, the second one along here for the diploma is digital optimization. Okay, so um, again, completing the professional marketing program, you would just have to pick up that additional digital optimization module in order to get that um, diploma in professional digital marketing. So, um, as I said, we, we're offering these programs, the digital programs for the first time since um, January. Um, and they are very popular with um, CIM students across the UK. So um, obviously, you know, the profession is demanding more and more digital skills. Um, however, having said that, digital is obviously um, part of all of the modules that we teach. So you can't really teach marketing um, without talking about digital. So, um, so there's a choice there in terms of the programmes that we offer. So if we move on, um, I just wanted to mention um, the Graduate Gateway. So CIM um, accredits centres to become study centres um, and some universities um, also are what's known as graduate gateways. So if you have studied a marketing degree or if there is significant marketing content in your degree, so it wasn't a, a marketing um, degree um, as a specialist subject, but perhaps there's advertising, PR and marketing or business and marketing, for example, you may be eligible to go through a graduate gate gateway path. Now, if you are, that means that you potentially would be exempt from some of the modules or one of the modules on the programmes that we've just had a look through. Um, so on the diploma, for example, the first module, the strategy um, and digital, if you were accepted, if you, if you were exempt, then you wouldn't have to do that module. So that means just two modules to complete in order to get the qualification. Now, I, I, I won't click on it here, um, but we, we, we've got a link to the CIM um, website. So if you just go to cim.co.uk and search Graduate Gateway, um, they have a drop down box and you can select the university that you graduated from and the programme that you studied and it will tell you whether you are exempt. Um, so that will give you an initial um, indication and then you get in touch with CIM who will be able to confirm that for you. So that's another um, option if, if you're in within that category, having studied marketing at some point in your degree. OK, so this is the programme as we deliver it at the moment. Um, so we have three semesters across the year. So again, you are able to complete the whole programme within one academic year. Um, so we you can join at any point. So as I said, in September, um, sorry, September is the, the kind of beginning of the academic year um, and we're running these modules at the moment. So applied marketing for the certificate and marketing and digital strategy um, is running at the moment um, in Wolverhampton. From January, and it will be early January, it will be the first week we get back after Christmas, um, we will be running planning campaigns for the certificate and innovation in marketing and digital optimization on the diploma programmes. Um, so obviously we would um, put, give you your specific plan depending on where you are studying for the programme, but generally we run three semesters, as, um, a module each um, from the certificate and the diploma per semester and start dates are September, January and April. So by the June, if you started in the September, by the June of that year, you should be uh, more or less finished. Um, it's the end of June, beginning of July, when you submit your final um, assignments. Um, and the way in which we've run it um, previously, and, and um, as we are at the moment, and what I envisage we will do moving forward, is that for each programme, there's one class per week and we run these in the evening because um, the vast majority of our students on CIM programmes work full time. So our classes are six till nine and um, 
the last couple of semesters we were in lockdown um, for the semester prior to this one um, and so we ran both of our certificates and our diploma online fully online um, this year we sorry this semester we are again mainly running the modules online um, there have been a couple of opportunities for students to come in but in fact we have opened it up to students and asked them how they would prefer um, to attend and again because the the majority of students are working full-time they have actually asked us to run them online so they've had a couple of face-to-face -face where they've had chance to to go in and, and, and meet the group and talk to the tutor face to face but generally it's running really really well online we um we are used to running the, the programs online and people um enjoy it so you still get your live lectures um through our canvas um program which is our kind of um, facility that we have to run all of our modules so students log in um every um tuesday or wednesday um as it has been in wolverhampton and the classes run from six till nine and then obviously there's support um around that particular class um, so if we can move on to the next one, um, so this is the painful bit, um, talking about fees. Um, I've listed all of the um, information here about fees for the certificate and the diploma. You can see that there's a slight difference in terms of the total costs between the certificate and the diploma. And that's basically because the assessments are slightly more expensive with the diploma. So. Um, what you have to do um, is uh, enrol with us if you're interested in studying with the University of Wolverhampton. Um, you pay us um, per module and it is actually possible just to do a module. You don't have to do the whole programme. Most people do, um, but you can um, just enrol per module. So you pay per module um, to us at the university. Um, you have to become a member of the CIM um, and you get lots of benefits with that membership, which we'll go through in a little while. So at the moment, obviously, these are this year's fees. Um, the £65 entitles you to that membership for the year. And then every assessment that you sit, um, you have to pay a, a fee to CIM. So as you can see, um, the fee for the certificate for this year is £150 per assessment. So that and your membership fee goes directly to CIM. Um, you pay the university for the teaching. Um, so you can see the costs here and, and we've given you the total cost, but you pay per module. Um, so you would make a payment every semester. Um, lots of our students on CIM are being funded by their employers. Um, and so obviously we can send out invoices and, and send those directly to employers if that's what you would prefer us to do. Again, um, I won't go through on the link here now, but um, there are um, details on our university website um, in terms of the entry requirements. So if you are um, concerned that you might not have the requirement, uh, required level of qualifications, then feel free to drop me an email or have a look on our website or the CIM website because it does give you quite a clear idea in terms of what we are expecting. So broadly with the certificate, we would expect you to have um, a degree possibly have, have done the foundation certificate um, and be in um, ideally a marketing role um, but at a, a junior level whereas with the diploma we're looking for that um, degree but also some some years experience um, of marketing being in a marketing role so sometimes you know it's not clear cut whether you should be applying for the certificate or the diploma so we can have a chat we can take um, additional experience and other qualifications sometimes into account um, and sometimes um, people come along and say they want to do the diploma um, but then actually decide no I'm going to go back to the certificate um, and then do that first um, so depending on the situation that that also might be a possibility um, but as I say just get in touch if you're not sure um, and then what we've got here is, is a sh very short video from um, CIM so um, if we could press play because it might take 
while to start um it had because it's such a large file but this will just give you more information So if we go to the to the next slide, so that's just um, a brief video um, which gives you a little bit more information about CIM. You'll see from the first um, couple of clips um, some press coverage um, about the CIM course. Um, it is a very, very well respected course in the industry. So um, if you're working in marketing, this is really the qualification that some um, employers want you to have. Um, so CIM is a very well respected respected organisation, um, lobbies on behalf of the marketing profession, um, is interviewed by the media on behalf of the marketing profession. So it's really the go to trade body. Um, and so if you get these qualifications, you know, you, you will um, be, be able to make use of them. Um, so the remain, remaining um, part of the presentation is from um, CIM and um, looking at things like study tips and how um, the benefits that you will get from uh, being a member of CIM. So as it suggests here, um, there's, there's obviously three um, key players um, when you join the CIM courses. There's yourself, obviously. Um, there's CIM and there's lots of communication with and from CIM and us as the study centre. So the university is the study centre and we all have to work together. Um, CIM set the assessments. So um, the university, all of our tutors um, teach the materials material but the CIM actually write the assessment so we don't write the exam we don't set the coursework it's all done by CIM and they also set the date the deadline that you have to submit your work um, for so what we do is look at those dates as I say there's lots of communication between um, CIM and us so they give us lots of key dates um, they keep us informed and we put the program together based on those dates. Um, so that's why we have three semesters because there are three opportunities to sit assessments so we fit in with CIM. CIM also mark your work. Um, so we we obviously provide guidance. The tutors will work with you um, and give you lots and lots of advice. We're allowed to feedback, not many times, but, but we can look at a draft of your work and give you some um, advice. As I say, the tutors that teach on this qualification have completed CIM themselves or have taught this several times over the years and so are very very familiar in terms of what's required. Okay so the next slide um, is just to really kind of remind you that uh, you know it's not an easy program um, the students that study CIM do say it's it's not easy um, you do have to put in the commitment and um, really as well as the three hours of classes that you will have every week you should really be setting aside another day per week so either a Saturday or a Sunday or if you're lucky enough to get um, study leave from your employer for, for half a day or one day per week um, you know you will have to put in the extra work so it's not just going to be um, attending the classes there, there will be additional things that you have to do okay 
Um, so that really um, uh, just reiterates that. So um, we also suggest we, we can stay on this one. Um, we also suggest that uh, you know you have a look at the program um, before you enrol, and that you. Um, just make sure that there isn't anything that you have in your calendar that might prevent you from attending several lessons. Um, in the past, you know, we've had some students who have um, a wedding, for example, and they might need three weeks off. And so we just recommend that that's not um, really the ideal thing to do, that, that if that is the case, you should defer until the next semester because you can pick it up at any time. Um, so, so, yes, it's just making sure that you're clear, that you have the, the time to do it, that you don't have lots of things in your calendar that means you're going to miss classes. Um, and that you are able to put in the additional study time. Okay, sorry, Trevor, we can move forward now. And again, I think if we move forward, we've now got um, the, the um, video. Again, it's a very short video, but um, this talks about the benefits of membership now. So we'll just have a look at this and then I'll run through some of the little bits. Wherever you are in your marketing career, CIM Membership is here to help. We have a range of resources to grow your capabilities, give you inspiring content, expand your community and develop your career. From agency briefs to the ultimate marketing toolkit, MyCIM is your portal to equip you with practical marketing guides and templates to support you in your marketing role. You'll also get access to a variety of materials, including academic journals, newspapers, and company reports. Members receive exclusive invites to topical monthly webinars hosted by subject matter experts, which offer top tips and takeaway tools on topics that matter most to you. If you're ready to progress your career to the next stage, you could study one of our internationally recognized qualifications. Or with over 90 training courses available and a 10% member discount, we can help you advance your marketing capabilities. It's important to keep up to date with what's going on in the ever-changing world of marketing. Catalyst and Exchange feature the latest thinking, stimulating articles and interviews with leading global experts. Being a member will help you build your marketing community. Throughout the year, there are several events where you can meet, share ideas and learn from other marketers in your local area. We also offer a mentoring program, which provides an opportunity for mentors and mentees in our profession to work together to support your next career move. Get the recognition you deserve. By joining our CPD program and recording your activities, you can demonstrate a level of commitment and capability to current and future employers. As a member, you can also apply for graded membership, which recognises your achievements and awards you the designatory letters to match, all leading to you achieving chartered marketer status, the highest level in the marketing profession. CIM membership provides you with a professional advantage to help you succeed in your career. Okay. Okay, thank you. So obviously um, that video was put together um, pre-COVID, um, but the CIM, as you would expect, <laughs> have been very good to adapt um, and they host lots of these um, sessions, lots of the things that were mentioned in that video, um, they are now doing online. So there's every um, month or so, there's a, 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 a talk, a webinar with a leading expert in marketing that you can join for free. Um, their magazine is, is obviously still being produced and um, you would receive that. Um, and when you become a member, um, you get your membership number and then you were able to log on to the portal called MyCIM. And it's on my CIM that you will find um, lots and lots of resources um, and specifically resources around um, your modules. So if we can go to the next slide, we should be able to see um, yeah, a screenshot of what my CIM will look like. So you can see um, that there is lots of information here and lots of resources around your course. Um, you can log on to your account and register 
register for your assessments here and it will tell you which assessments you are eligible to register for so you can check that everything is, is correct in terms of your programme. So as you can see the, the squares here indicate the kind of information that you can access. So obviously you get your results through so you get those online um, a, a, a a little while after you've sat them they get obviously get marked by senior examiners within CIM and then you get the results sent directly through to yourself and um, we also get the results at the study centre. Um, there's lots and lots of advice and guidance on the assessments themselves um, so CIM are very very strict in terms of what they want to see from the assessments which is great actually. Um, I do think that's a positive because there isn't really any room for misunderstanding. Um, it's very, very clear what they are expecting um, and you have to go through the brief and really demonstrate that you have done everything that they have asked for. As I say, our tutors are, are used to working to the guidance and so can give you lots and lots of help. Um, you will also have um, access to some ebooks if they are available um, as part of the module. Uh, most of them do have ebooks, um, certainly the mandatory modules. If there isn't a specific, um, the recommended text available, then there will be lots of other resources available um, for you. But as I say, mainly you will be able to get everything you need on here. You'll also have um, access to journal articles, business databases, um, everything basically that you need in terms of putting your assessments together. Um, and, and that's one thing that I would again emphasize the fact that you do have to be prepared to read around um, your subjects. So um, CIM will give you a huge reading list, um, a suggested reading list for additional reading that you can do. And you do have to make sure that you are demonstrating wide reading. Um, when you submit your work. But there's also um, available on this portal, um, here, as you can see in the, the bottom corner here, senior examiner reports. So um, every, after every uh, assessment period, um, CIM released these reports, um, which are an overview from the senior examiners in terms of what students did well, what students didn't do so well and obviously they're available um, at, at for every module so before you um, are ready to submit your work or sit exams you can have a look at these reports and see um, uh, you know the kind of common mistakes or things that the examiners are really looking for and then there's lots of audio um, PowerPoints, there's video PowerPoints, there's um, information on referencing, everything that you need is all within um, CIM, including those important dates, um, but we always remind you, so as course leader I always send out emails reminding people about what you need to do when, just to make sure we're all on top of everything, okay. Um, we don't have to go through this one. This is just the, um, the, the senior examiner reports that I mentioned. Um, as, uh, in addition to the study um, resources, there are also professional resources. Um, so there are templates, so a marketing plan template, for example, you know, if you're at work and, and um, your boss asks you to write a marketing plan, you know, there's lots and lots of toolkits and guides um, that will help you um, on the CIM website that you will also have access to um, as a, a member. Um, the magazine is Catalyst, which we have mentioned already, um, a really professional magazine, interviews with the, the top, top people working in marketing and um, articles on the things that are very important in terms of the industry, so trends and topics, which again is very, very useful um, for you to, to stay on top of, um, particularly, you know, if you're looking for other positions and you need to, to talk knowledgeably about what's happening in the industry. 
Um, the webinars I've mentioned, these are now all online, often recorded, so you can go back to them and watch them if you're not, not able to watch them live. Um, and again, some, some really, really good interviews and some discussions um, have taken place over the last, certainly over the last few months when we've been in lockdown. Um, so, so that will continue. They've confirmed that they will continue too. Um, and the other thing to mention, um, again, uh, you know, this will be online, but um, as well as the national CIM, there is also a regional network which you would be um, have access to. And um, there are events, specific events set up um, around CIM um, members within the West Midlands region. So again, that is a great opportunity for you to meet other marketers and um, you know senior people from from agencies and consultancies across the region. And, and um, the, one of the things that um, they have done, for example, is a kind of uh, a meet and greet session with senior people within marketing, uh, where more junior uh, marketing executives could go and ask lots of questions about. Um, working in the industry. So lots and lots of events take place too throughout the year. Okay, so if we move on to the next one. So the final thing um, is just to say, if you are interested in finding out more, I'm more than happy to arrange um, a telephone call with you um, or, or a Microsoft Teams chat or whatever you would um, want to do. Um, if you email me first, so my email address is here again at the bottom, um, and let me know when is good for you. Um, I can talk you through all of the detail, um, but also please have a look at the CIM website because a lot of what you need um, is there. On the university's website, we've also got a page on the certificates um, and the diplomas um, with more information there. You can apply directly just by going to the website. Um, there's a button to apply. Um, your application can be sent in at any point, um, and then we would advise you when the best time to start is. As I said, the next um, available opportunity um, to start is the beginning of January. So so um, you can apply at any time to start at that point. OK, so I think that's everything that um, I wanted to say about the course. So um, I'll leave it there, Paula, if that's OK. That was great. Thank you very much, Emma. That was really helpful, very informative. Um, thank you. No problem. Um, I'm just looking at the Q&A. Nothing has come in so far, but um, possibly people will have a chance now to think about a question that they might like to raise. So if we just... A lot of information, I think, probably. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps need time to think, have a think about it all. But as I said, if, you know, if anybody needs to email me afterwards, that's not a problem. Okay, that's brilliant. So if we just give people a minute mm -hmm. or so to see if they do want to post anything in the chat um, now. So obviously, Emma, the idea for local people to Stafford and to Telford is mm -hmm. for the course to be offered flexibly um, from January. Um, so some face to face and then some online learning. Yeah, yeah. And I, I, I think that's the best option yeah. to do a little bit of face to face and, and some online. Mm -hmm. um, as I said, we didn't have a choice when we were in full lockdown. So we did everything online and mm -hmm. lots of students preferred that. But having said that, um, a lot of the students had already gone through at least one module, so they knew what to expect. Um, so the diploma people um, haven't wanted to go onto campus at all, but the certificate have gone in a couple of times because we've got new students and we just thought it would be nice to get them together to, to meet the other students mm -hmm. and to ask any, any questions that they might have. So, yeah, we can we can, you know, negotiate with the students. But I, I think a blend this blended approach is probably the best best one. Yeah. OK, thank you. Um, someone is just asking, is the course suited to someone who wants to just market their own small business on a day to day basis? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. We would um, obviously want to look at um you know the qualifications um that 
that the, the person has. But yes, it would be um, very, very useful for someone working um, on their own business that needs to develop their markets, um, get to their audiences, um, probably starting with the certificate because that kind of covers all of the basics in terms of putting a plan together in, in applied marketing, identifying your audiences, um, developing your messages, choosing the right tools to reach your audience. Um, but yes, yeah. And um, the assessments, actually, the majority of the assessments are based, um, you have to base them on the business that you are working for. So you could actually put your assignment together on your business and then put that plan into, into action. Okay, brilliant. Thank you, Emma. Nothing coming through at the moment, Emma. Okay. So I think um, if people do want to ask, they've obviously got your contact details. Mm -hmm. um, and um, if you're happy, Emma, this lecture has been recorded, so um, it can be uploaded for people to view um, mm -hmm. again. Um, and that can go on our YouTube channels, but at both centres and at the universities as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So people have another opportunity to view. OK, so nothing else for the moment. So I think you've probably covered everything because that was really um, comprehensive. Um, so thank you very much, Emma. No uh, problem. Thanks, brilliant. Emma. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Trevor. And thank you to everybody who's attended today. Um, and hopefully we look forward to, to seeing you in the near future. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. 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 Thank you for attending. Bye bye.